welcome to my channel Medzabe. As the thumbnail suggested, I'm gonna speak about the books required for first year. Uh, and this video is both for Indian and also foreign students. As you all know that in first year there are very very important subjects. There are three very important subjects which is anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. So let's jump on to the topic directly. Okay. So uh, there are gold standard books for everything and also just basic books which are only required for your university exams now and if you want to require your more me deep medical knowledge if you want to acquire more deep medical knowledge you can go to these gold standard books no doubt but gold standard books are not for everyone keep in mind gold standard books are not for everyone uh, yeah like there are three crucial uh, subjects in first year anatomy anatomy is subdivided into general anatomy embryology histology and a part of neuroanatomy so let's start with anatomy anatomy i would suggest first book i would suggest is atlas of human anatomy which is the nectar atlas of human anatomy this is the best book the quality of this book is best uh, the visuals the images the diagrams everything has been clearly mentioned so whenever you start to study anatomy you have to have this book around you second General Anatomy. General Anatomy, this red books written by B.D. Chaurasia. These red books are for everyone. Uh, let it be MBBS, BPT, BDS. These books are like a general revision. A general revision of your anatomy. These are for your university exams. Very clear information. Go to go book. So these books are in four parts. Volume 1 will consist of upper limb, thorax. Second uh, and third is head and neck. So most of your upper limb and thorax region, this book will cover. Second, coming to histology. Histology, uh, there is a very good book uh, written by our own Indian author, Indrabir Singh, Human Histology. This is the best book and it comes with colored atlas. Okay, whenever you get into histology lab or you want to see slides, this is a go-to-go -go book. Clearly detailed information, no other book needed. But I also suggest one more book which I have been reading a while, which is like Hussein, like Hussein, uh, your medical histology, it's almost same as the human histology, but um, a more precise one, okay, a more precise one, and you can just mug it up, do it, everything, it's very easy to understand, I would suggest both the books, You, it, it depends on you, which you will do it, then coming to embryology, okay, so embryology, human embryology, again, in their saying book, very good information given, not much required, no other book required for this. But I also suggest if you want to get into more detailed embryology like evolution and stuff, Langmans, Human Embryology, more detailed information. This is a gold standard book and this is not for everyone. And also, as I referred, this is the basic book of anatomy. If you want a more detailed information about anatomy is Gray's Anatomy. Gray's Anatomy, uh, Gray's Anatomy is just <laughs> out of the box. It has more detailed information than anything, and it's quite expensive. And yeah, it does not have neurology. Then coming to histology, there's also called as Diffus Atlas. Okay, this like you can go if you are into competitions or quiz of histology, you can get this book, Diffus Atlas. I'm gonna give the link of the PDFs and also the link of the Amazon link in the description of the video you can go check it there the prices and also you can get the e formats of these books then we are done with anatomy will will be shifted into physiology physiology Guyton and Hall are the most uh, in Indian students use this book but I also suggest Sembolingam essentials of physiology the most detailed version of physiology you can this is a book of 1100 pages and it consists the whole knowledge of physiology i have been reading this book and i would i would really recommend you to get this book because this uh, what this has is simple and yet complex okay so you can make my point clear that this book can make you understand well physiology is something you have to learn and i keep telling students that physiology is the book Physiology is the subject which you have to learn more deeply in medical school. Okay, so if you, uh, this is a basic book, obviously this is a basic book. Um, Guyton and Hall is 
a really complex book okay uh, i would also suggest that ganong ganong physiology is gold standard book which is not for everyone which has more detailed information about physiology other than that ak jain ak jain is also doing well ak jain is also doing well because the quality of this book is far more better than essentials of medical uh, essentials of physiology but ak jain does not give you detailed information uh, like the sublingam the sublingam uh, essential of medical physiology so ak jain is also fine better okay if you are looking for general knowledge of physiology like you don't want detailed information on physiology this is the book and if you want detailed information of physiology this is the book then yeah like most of the books are just theory based if you want to get into question based review of medical physiology again uh, this is the same author sebulingam uh, which wrote essential of physiology which wrote essential of physiology so this is the book if you want to have question and answers type this can be used also as a memory card or flash cards okay so next coming to the biochemistry biochemistry the standard book is herbs illustrated biochemistry okay but the basic book the most basic book everything is basic in this which is satya narayana biochemistry i really don't like chemistry or not good not a great fan of chemistry but this is also tough for me yeah but this is the most basic book you can find in the market satya narayana biochemistry if you want the uh, if you want the most uh, gold standard book which is herbs illustrated and yeah these are all the books which are needed in the first year okay uh, i would say have a good hand on all of these books let it be anatomy physiology or biochemistry or histology in this matter because um, what happens is anatomy if you have a good hand on your anatomy your surgery will be damn easy and if you um, have a good hand on your histology your pathology is good and if you have a good hand on your physiology and biochemistry at the same time your pharmacology will go in a very easy manner trust me i have heard it from seniors third year fourth year students who are studying pharmacology they find it really tough just because they didn't study physiology and uh, biochemistry in their uh, last years so have a good hand on this books read every subject as a very important subject major subject i've seen students who skip histology just like just because it's a minor subject uh, it's all about epithelium and this thing but the same histology will get into pathology and you will suffer there okay uh, yeah and physiology yeah according to me uh, as far as i have seen uh, as far as i have talked to seniors physiology plays a very important role more than anatomy okay because uh, physiology has that concepts metabolism everything like how the nervous system works how the digestive system works every metabolism in digestive system every blood composition in physiology every thing actual how body works is the physiology so make sure you have very good hand on physiology um, i'll post more about medical content in my youtube channel i hope you don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon until that das vidaniya i am logging off i am logging off